Hello and welcome to my tour and honest review of the Sea Dust Cancun all-inclusive family resort. We will start our tour here in the lobby where you will find a gift shop, a pharmacy, and a Starbucks. Four bars and six out of the seven dining venues are located on the lobby level, which includes Samurai Asian Cuisine, Florencia Italian Restaurant, and Lighthouse Seafood Buffet, all of which we will take a closer look at later on in the video. Towards the back end of the lobby level is a huge gift shop which offers a wide variety of items such as souvenirs, aquatic accessories, and much more. The way the resort is designed makes it very convenient to access many of the venues that are located on the lobby level. All of the rooms are just an elevator ride down to many of the restaurants, bars, and shops without much walking at all. Let's take a look at what is advertised as a luxury suite. The suite comes with all the basic amenities that one would expect, such as a flat screen TV, a king size bed, a sofa and a coffee machine, but I would definitely not consider this luxurious. The room is obviously dated and in desperate need of renovations, especially in the restroom. On a positive note, the room was spacious, clean, and everything was in working order, including the plumbing, the hot water, and air conditioning. The mini fridge was stocked with snacks and beverages daily. Every suite at the Sea Dust has a balcony that faces the ocean which provides at least a partial ocean view. What a beautiful scene to wake up to before heading out to breakfast. There is a daily breakfast buffet offered at the food gallery where you can grab a mimosa as you enter or choose from a wide variety of aquas frescas, juices, and fruit smoothies. My personal favorite was the green juice and banana smoothie. Choose from a variety of flavors in yogurts, jello, and individually packaged cereals. There is no shortage of tropical fruits and melons that can be topped with granola and chia seeds. Breakfast sandwiches and omelets are made to order. Traditional breakfast items are offered such as sausage and potatoes and Mexican favorites such as rice, beans, beef, chicken dishes and chilaquiles are also available. In my opinion, the breakfast items at the buffet besides the made to order items aren't quite hot enough but are well seasoned. It would serve the resort's guests well if there were microwaves available to use. After fueling up at breakfast, it's time to burn some calories. The gym is accessible via a glass walkway surrounded by the resort's gorgeous spa. Inside the fitness center, there are stacked weight machines for every body part. A Smith machine, cable machine, stationary bikes, dumbbells, barbells, stability balls, stair steppers, and treadmills. The Sea Dust Fitness Center is very well equipped for an all-inclusive resort. The only thing I would recommend is adding a squat rack or freestanding bench press rack for more advanced lifters. If working out at the gym is not your thing, join the dance classes by the pool to burn some calories. Since we are here, let's check out the pool area. The main pool features three tiers with an infinity design. There are no shortage of lounges surrounding the pools for guests to lay out in the Cancun sun. 
Off to the side is a little family pool for parents to play with their little ones. Grab a drink at Splash, the pool bar. Let's take a look at the turquoise waters of the resort's beach. The beach is easily accessible located down these short steps just behind the main pool. The downside is the beach area is very small for such a large resort with a limited amount of seating and space. Definitely not adequate enough to accommodate everyone. After a few hours at the beach or by the pool, you may get hungry for lunch. Wave Snack Bar serves up hamburgers, hot dogs, and nachos and is conveniently located next to the pool. As you can see by the murals of animated characters, the Sea Dust Resort goes above and beyond to appeal to children. We will now take a look at some of the outdoor activities geared towards the kiddos. This is where you check out equipment and get geared up for those said activities. The whole family can enjoy a game of miniature golf that is free of charge to the resort's guests. Other included activities for the kids are zip lining and rock wall climbing. The fun doesn't stop as we head towards the opposite end of the resort where we will take a look at the playroom, water park, and kids club. Inside the playroom, there is an array of board games that you can check out from the clerk. You will also find foosball, a ping pong table, air hockey, Jenga setup, and an Xbox room. And all of these activities are included. Located next to the playroom is the water park. This pirate themed park has 13 kid slides, a lazy river, and two thrilling speed slides for us bigger kids. Adjacent to the water park is the Kids Club and Baby Club. The Kids Club is open from the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for ages 5 to 12. And the Baby Club is open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then again from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. For kids as young as 18 months to 5 years old. Most resorts do not offer programs for babies as young which makes CEDAS especially family friendly. Now let's check out a couple of lunch options. The Manhattan is your best choice to get a gourmet lunch, featuring elevated burgers and desserts. The Surf and Turf burger, chicken tenders, and brownie out of mold were all on point. A more casual option for lunch would be the buffet. Lunch and dinner here at the food gallery buffet are so similar that we will cover it one time only. The food gallery buffet venue is designed like a food court that you would find at the mall. There are 11 interactive open kitchen stations featuring international cuisine from around the world. We just saw the fruit and salad section, now this is the Italian section. It features a made-to-order pasta bar and wood-fired pizza. Next up is the poultry station featuring various chicken dishes. From hot wings to nuggets to stew.
The Itame prepares various rolls in front of the cutting board for guests who enjoy sushi. By the resort being in Cancun, there has to be a Mexican station. Pollo Asada and Al Pastor, stewed in traditional Mexican sauces accompanied by the rolls, frijoles, and queso. And of course a taco bar with all the toppings like salsa, pico de gallo, and guacamole on fresh made tortillas. For meat lovers, a grilling station with beef, chicken, fish, and pork topped with barbecue sauce. You can find such dishes as fried rice, chow mein, and spring rolls at the Oriental station. But for me, I felt like they went a little too heavy on the soy sauce. You seafood lovers won't be left out here as you will find shrimp, clams, fish, paella, and even made-to-order poke bowls. Hola. No meal is complete without dessert, so let's take a look at the dessert station. Out of all the desserts you see here, there were maybe two to my liking. The soft serve ice cream is pretty okay too. I'll have to get a food gallery buffet lunch experience a 6 out of 10. For a dinner buffet, where the food is much higher in quality, head on over to the Lighthouse Seafood Buffet. The venue is much smaller than the food gallery, but is in a much more elegant and intimate environment. The selection of food here isn't as immense as the main buffet, but there definitely seems to be much more emphasis placed on the quality of each dish. And there are still plenty of items to choose from such as an awesome selection of salads of all types, fresh fruit, gourmet cheeses, and cold cuts. Hot items include a variety of fish dishes, squid, salmon, roasted vegetables, rice, potatoes, hummus, beef, chicken, and pork dishes, and a selection of pasta. And make sure to save room because the desserts here are A1 quality. I will give the Lighthouse a score of 8 out of 10. Now let's head over to our first dinner a la carte restaurant, Florencia, for some Italian cuisine. I enjoyed every entree and dessert I tried here and highly recommend the salmon with risotto and tiramisu for dessert. I'm going to give Florencia 8.5 out of 10. Let's check out Samurai for some Asian cuisine. The service was a bit slow and the food was average, 6 out of 10. Serving up authentic Mexican cuisine is El Maggi. This a la carte restaurant's menu offerings were very unique, presenting dishes from various parts of Mexico. The food here was excellent and the fish tacos were perhaps the best I've ever had. I'm going to give El Maggi a score of 9 out of 10. For the evening sweet tooth, the crepery is open until 10 p.m. serving up donuts, muffins, waffles, churros, and crepes with a slew of toppings. Soft serve ice cream, coffee, hot chocolate, and milk. At 9.30 p.m. it's showtime at the Resorts Theater featuring a different show night. I cannot fairly rate the quality of the shows as I only attended one, which was the Latin show. And I was not impressed, but perhaps I would have enjoyed the magic of Michael Jackson's show had I attended. Drink the night away in one or multiple of the three bars located on the lobby level, including Kilimanjaro Bar, Midway Bar, and the Touchdown Sports Bar. The lemon margarita on the rocks and the mango margarita were the only cocktails that I found that were consistently good. One of my personal favorite venues in the resort is the karaoke bar, where families gather to have some drinks, sing their favorite tunes, and shoot some pool. Open until 2 o'clock a.m. The vibe here is chill and a great place to cap off the night. Here are my final thoughts of the Sea Dust Cancun Family Resort. 
It is a great value, all-inclusive resort for families and for children, especially between the ages of 18 months and 12 years old. The food quality ranges from just okay to excellent. I would not recommend this resort for couples looking for a romantic or luxurious getaway, as there are a lot of kids running around and the accommodations aren't very luxurious. Thank you for checking out my review of the Sea Dust Cancun All Inclusive Family Resort. I hope you enjoyed the video and would be so kind to subscribe to my channel. And make sure to hit the notification bell for more vacation content like this. Happy travels, people.